Our first set of what you do in school today results were not very positive, and it was tempting for our staff to dismiss the student responses as a rant to a captive audience. But we kept the results on the agenda and eventually added topics like student office referrals, suspension, various student assessments, student support data, and student written responses to open-ended questions. Two questions help us use our data productively. What patterns are we seeing in the data? And what are some of the little things we can do to address the concerns of students? These questions ensured our staff that our focus was exactly where it needed to be, not on judging or evaluating individual teachers, but on what we may do as a team to set some new conditions for learning. Today, our students are a vital part of this decision-making in our school. Last year, our student leadership team had 35 members who got involved in reviewing our survey data and providing input into what teachers and students can do to create change. They prepared and ran monthly assemblies to celebrate student success and talent. And they also had a say in the decision making that was involved in using their funds that they raised from different activities. And they were a voice for other students. All of this amounts to what and how I experienced what you do in school today as a principal of Robert Borden. <laughs> 